Hello, I'm Saimi Nakamura. I'm a theory of an advanced world counselor and a breathwork facilitator. I'm introducing a series of guided meditations created by Mao Ishiki, who is the founder of the theory of an advanced world, fractal phenomenology and fractal psychology in Japan. This episode is to reduce jealousy and compulsive desire to win in your imaginary competitions. There's a type of person who is always intense and moody because they are constantly competing. Their mind is obsessed and compulsively measuring themselves against someone else in their head. Do you know why some people fixated on competing with others in their mind all the time? When they are babies or toddlers, their parents treated them and admired them like a little king or queen. That is why their undeveloped brain perceived they are the most precious being and believed they are superior to anyone else in the world. For little children, the world means a family unit. And as they grow, their world grows also. And sooner or later, in a little bit bigger world, they encounter a situation where they get overthrown. If you are one of those people who are compulsively fighting and competing in your mind, think about it. Who defeated you for the first time in your life? Was it your baby sister or baby brother? Or it might have been one of your friends, a neighborhood kid, or one of your cousins. When you felt that you are not the most important child to your mother anymore since she started taking care of your baby sister or baby brother or she had to go back to work, it was so shocking to you that you felt as if your kingdom got ripped apart and you felt unsafe. And your undeveloped brain fantasized the reason why your mom started treating you in such a way and you settle down with a new title that I am not worthy anymore. Then you became desperate to prove that you are still worthy to get your mom's attention back by striving to be better and more than who you were. And this particular desire to seek for approval and external powers turns into your obsessive compulsive behavioral patterns where you always measure yourself with others to feel superior. And you carry the self-image and this unconscious thinking pattern over to your adulthood. When you start having subordinates at your workplace, you will get extremely upset and jealous whenever you recognize that your subordinates have more ability or talent than you do. Even though you may want to kick the subordinate out of your section, it is not your place to do that. So after a while, you might manifest a situation that can be a reasonable reason to quit the job. This pattern is distractive and you cannot keep quitting your job whenever you see yourself losing your imaginary battle. It is not realistic that you always win. But there's a better way, which is to focus your energy more effectively. Because of your nature of competitiveness, you have a desire to strive for better. Therefore, if you focus your energy on one specific objective and are determined to give yourself 100% effort to achieve it, there will be a much better chance of winning. So pick your fight wisely and keep enhancing your ability. Let's move on to today's guided meditation. The best time to listen to it is at bedtime because once you fall asleep, the power of your subconscious will take it over and quickly processing the information while you are asleep. Keep listening to this guided meditation every day for at least one month to reduce stress, frustration, and jealousy that you feel because you cannot control the outcome. Instead, you will be better at prioritizing your energy on focusing on producing your desired outcomes. Please close your eyes and take a deep breath. 
Imagine yourself being in your body of a six-year-old self and have your adult self in front of you. And please listen to what I'm going to say as if your adult self is talking to you, saying, I know that you hate to lose, but I am exhausted because of the emotional roller coaster that you create with winning and losing by constantly competing with others. You get snobby when you think you beat someone or become so jealous when you see someone achieved something you haven't been able to. You pretend that nothing bothers you at work, but when you go home, you take anger out on your family and lash out. When you don't have anybody to attack, then you self-medicate or become self-destructive. It would be best if you stopped behaving like a spoiled child. You cannot enhance your ability and become a decent person to be admired by others if you keep putting such a monkey act treating your family and friends disrespectfully. You must change and grow up. Otherwise, you will never be satisfied with your life. I know that you're always so eager to win and receive someone's admiration because you have been suffering from unworthiness deep down inside. I am very sorry that you have been suffering all alone, but I am here to help you and let you know that you don't have to fight alone anymore. Also, I am here to thank you because you hate to lose and because of your persistence to chase the winds you developed your willingness to become better every time you competed. Thank you for your tenacity. I want you to understand that it is our talent that we can always find someone to compete with since that challenge forces us to get better and increase our ability. You have done enough. You don't need to suffer any longer. You're not unworthy and you do matter. You're very important to me and I love you. You have been loved and you are loved. You will always be loved. It was your misinterpretations that mom and dad started loving you less and less or stopped taking care of you. It was not valid. You are alive today with your healthy brain because of your parents' contribution, dedication, and sacrifices to be your protector and provider. You are alive now because they loved you so much that they invested their lives for you since they believed in your future. You become so upset, angry, and jealous when you feel that you get beat by others because you assume you will be looked down on and ridiculed. But that is all your imagination. It is just a narrative that you created and stored in your head since you are the one who always criticizes, degrades, and looks down on others. You need to open up your eyes and see that no one in the world has only a winning streak. Everyone has strengths and weaknesses. So you pick a fight that means something to you when you win so that you can keep challenging and enhancing your ability Choose your fight wisely and make it into your favorite thing to do. You can do it because you are capable. Remember, 
you are not alone. I am always with you. I am the one always listening to you and watching over you. You are very important to me. I love you and I believe in you. You can repeat in your mind, I am determined to change. I am determined to change. I am always improving myself. I am always improving myself. I am worthy of earning whatever I want. I am worthy of earning whatever I want. Now merge into calmness and stillness inside and go to sleep. This is the end of the guided meditation and see if your child self is soothed, calm and determined. If you would like to go deep inside to tap into your expanded state of awareness to create a shift in your perspective, to see your world from different angle, my private counseling sessions are available. You can visit my website at saiminakamura.com. Thank you for watching. Thank you.